Hello and welcome. This is the LibreOffice Basic Script Hello World. Here we will do three exercises. The first one is to show a pop-up message like this. We will have a button and when we push the button a pop-up will show. Then we will make the cell content uppercase and the third is to verify if the content of a cell is a number here an example we have a number we click on the button and we have it's a number and in the second scenario we have hello it's not a number okay so let's do the first one show a pop-up message so I start here with a clean LibreOffice calc document and we have three things to do the first one is to create a macro to show the pop-up the second thing is to create the button and then the third is to make the button fire the macro okay so the first step is create the macro we go to the tools menu and then we choose macros after that we choose organize macros and then LibreOffice basic we click and this window will open under the my macros and standard we choose new and we give a name to the module it will be hello world I click on OK and a second window will open this window is where you write your code in basic okay the first thing to acknowledge here is that LibreOffice created automatically this file with this text okay this is just a comment okay this will never run any code and this is code this is a function and it's called by default main we will change the name to my pop up and inside of this function we can call msg box message box okay and inside of this we provide the string hello world this function will open a pop up and will insert this text on that pop-up. If you don't give any text at all to this function, it will open a pop-up without any text, okay? It's just that. Now we can save and close here. Now it's time to do the button, create the button. So I go here to the menu, insert, and then I choose hyperlink. Then this window will open, I choose document, and here in further settings we choose on the forms button, this is a button. Also we want to display the text, show, pop up, like this. And one important thing to do here is target in document. We choose this button and this window will open so we can choose the sheet where it will appear, okay? I will choose example 1 is the sheet where we are, I apply, this appears here, I can close this window and then I can close this window too. A button appears, is very small, I can increase the size like this and the second step is done. So the next step is making the button fire the macro that we just created, okay? So we click on the button with the right click of the mouse and then we choose the control in the menu. We click, a new window will open, we choose the tab events and we go down and we find the mouse button pressed event okay so we can click on this button with three dots I click here a new window opens on assign macro we click this button and here we can find our macro under my macros standard and hello world I choose my pop-up and I click OK OK again and I can close this one we made the three steps right so our button should work I click on the button and nothing happens why because the button is on design mode okay and while it is on design mode the button will never fire anything okay never works it's just for design just for you to change the size of the button and change its properties right so to switch off this design mode we must go to the menu view and toolbars and finally form controls 
we click, a new window opens. Let's do this again. View, toolbars, form controls. The second icon is the design mode icon and it is on. Okay, so if I click on this button, it will switch off. Now I can close this and if I click on the button, a pop-up appears. Okay, this is done and just to remember to show a pop-up we call the function msg box and then we provide some string to show on our pop-up okay next we will do the exercise to make a cell text uppercase so let's do that back to the document i am on another sheet the sh example 2 sheet and we have to do three things create a macro then create the button and then we have to make the button fire the macro so to create a macro we go to the tools macros organize macros and libreoffice basic we choose these and the standard and then click on new by default it will create on the same file of the previous example we have here okay we will change this to be to upper and inside of this we have to do our code let me get some room here for our codes the first thing to do here is declare a variable ctr equals to these component dot current controller and after this i declare another variable that is the sheet okay and i want from the controller to get the active sheet okay we can call this in just one line okay like like this but because i have a bigger font size to be easy to see on smartphones i made the code in this way okay the next thing to do is declare another variable that is the cell and we want to get the text of the cell a1 and this equals to sheet dot get cell by position and we give the column the number of the column is zero and the number of the row is zero two the next thing to do is get the text and make the text upper so i declare uh, upper this is equals to u case and we say that cell a1 dot get string this function will make the text that we provide uppercase okay this function gets the text of the cell a1 okay what we have to do next we have to set the new text to our cell so we call cell a1 dot set string and we provide the uppercase variable is just this we can save and we can close the window so let's create our button first we have to go to insert and hyperlink then we choose document and we make the target to example 2 our sheet apply close we choose form is a button and also the text of the button is to upper we say ok and our button appears here okay but we can't move the button why because the button is with design mode switched off okay so we must go to view toolbars form controls and check the design mode okay now we can resize the button like this and we can go to control to assign our macro go to the events and go down on mouse button pressed click on the three dots button and choose macro under the my macros standard hello world we choose to upper and ok ok close and switch off the design mode now if i click this the text becomes bigger okay this is done and to remember to get active sheet we call this component dot current controller 
dot get active sheet to get a single cell on the sheet that we get with this we call get cell by position and then we provide the number of the column and the number of the row and just to remember numeration for columns and rows starts always by zero the first one is zero okay next we have the string to uppercase we call the function u case and we provide a string to be uppers okay to get the text of a cell we on a cell call get string to set the text of the cell we call on a cell set string and provide the new text the final exercise verify if content of a cell is a number so let's do this so I'm on the third sheet example 3 and we will do the three things create the macro create the button and make the button fire the macro so first thing to do here is go to tools macros organize macros and lib office basic we are making this in the same file let's make in a different one so you click on standard and instead of new you click on organizer and here on modules you click on new and here you can create a different module let's call it hello world 2 and say ok and close now we have two files here one hello world my pop-up and two upper and the second one is just have a main the default one let's go to edit this one and we have these with the default values let me change these to is number inside we declare sheet equals this component dot sheets and get me the sheet on index 2 so I'm getting in a different way here okay and this works as the same logic of columns and rows okay the first sheet is on index 0 the second sheet is on index 1 and the third is on index 2 so I provide the number 2 to this function okay and the next thing to do is get the cell a1 and cell a2 so cell a1 is equals to sheet dot get cell range by name and I provide the string a1 this is a different function again to get uh, the cell and in this way I'm just getting one cell but this allows you to get a range of cells for example if I write something like a12 c5 it will get you the square that is made by a12 c5 okay the range of cells but now I just want one cell and I provide the ID of that cell a2 is just changing this and the next thing to do is verify if it is numeric the content of a1 is numeric so if is numeric and we get the text of a1 again in a different way I'm not calling get string I'm just calling string okay then else and and if so if it is a number we say that the cell a1 dot string again I'm not calling the function set string I'm just saying cell a2 dot string is equals to it's a number and in the other scenario it will be it will be not a number okay now what we want to do we want to change the color of the text in the case where the content of a1 is a number we want to show the text green on cell a2 and red on cell a2 if it is not a number okay so to do that we call cell a2 dot char color equals to rgb 
and I provide numbers between 0 and 255 so I want green it will be 0 for red 255 for green and 0 for blue the same thing for the second scenario but instead 255 for green it will be 255 for red and this is it we just have to save and close this now let's create our button insert hyperlink and document we say the target is example 3 apply close we say that this is a button and the text will be check if it is a number we apply ok and we have to go to design mode click if this windows is not open we can open this by view toolbars form controls and let me make this bigger okay now let's assign the macro to this button right click control we go to the top events and we choose mouse button pressed click on the three dots button and macro under my macro standard our new function is on the module hello world 2 so we choose the module hello world 2 and the function is number we click on ok ok close and make this design mode off and we have a second button let me clear this i don't know why this happened let's make this off and let's click not a number let me write something nothing will happen why because while the cell is selected it's on edit mode and it will be ignored so i must click outside and then click on the button it's a number the last exercise is done and to remember to get a specific sheet we call this component dot sheets and we provide the number of the sheet and remember numeration for sheets starts at zero okay get a range of cells we call get cell range by name and we provide a range a1 to b5 for example if we just provide the id of the cell we get just one okay to get the text of the cell we learned that we can call get string or we can call just dot string okay in the same way for set the text of a cell we can call set string function or we can call dot string equals a new string okay to set the color of the text we call on the cell char color equals rgb red green and blue and these are these are numbers between 0 and 255 okay the first one is for red the second one is for green and the third one is for blue to check if the text contains just numbers we call the function is numeric and we provide a text that we want to verify if it is a number or not okay so this is the end and as always thank you for watching